Microsoft chief executive Satya Nadella is on a tour of India. On Monday, he met government ministers and he spoke to entrepreneurs in Delhi. Now, Nadella's visit follows, of course, Tim Cooks, the Apple chief exec who was there just a week or so ago. One homegrown success story in India is the company called Wellspun, the company that supplies towels for events like Wimbledon and indeed the Rugby World Cup. It's a dominant player in the U.S. market, selling uh, by the hundreds of millions. Uh, B.K. Goenka is the chairman. He joins me now from New York. Sir, I'd hope to be in New York uh, to, 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 be, to be putting your towels to the test, but, uh, but I, I'm in London tonight. So, so I just need to know, I mean, from your point of view, what is the secret of success in selling into a market like the United States? I think the most uh, important thing is the dedication, the commitment towards the customer. The customer centricity is the most important pillar what Wellspun has and that has created the differentiation between us and the others. Right, but you've got to break into a market to start with and I know you did that via Walmart. Um, I I'm wondering how worried are you by the rising trade rhetoric, particularly that of Donald Trump, as the U.S. goes into its general election? I mean, I'm not the expert on the politics, but uh, definitely uh, textile is uh, already uh, coming from, most of the textile in U.S. is coming from outside U.S. And I think uh, India is one of the dominated player, and I don't think that it will be having a major issue with the uh, shifting of the uh, industry in, in the U.S., uh, in particularly in textile, what we feel. But uh, you, you're right when you talk about textiles. Over many years, different... Con I, here in the United Kingdom, where I am, which used to have a thriving textile industry. And um, what, you know, the, 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 it has been moved to those countries with a lower cost base. But is it just about cost? No, I think cost is one factor. Uh, Richard, when, when I started the towel 20 years back, and I was in Manchester, and the first towel we want to, want to sell from India, was well, the biggest issue was whether as an Indian company can sell towels or make towels of this quality. They thought it is basically they change the label. So the made in India credibility was so low in those years, those time, that is, I think over a period of time, it has changed with not only basically the low cost, today we are talking of as a completely technology, uh, technologically driven uh, company we are, we are not only talking of basically buying and selling with a customer, today we are <laughs> having customer partnership, literally, whether it is Walmart or JCPenney or a Kohl's or a Sears or Bed Bath & Beyond in US, uh, all the top 10 retailers in, the, in, the, in this country, we are having a partnership. So, but briefly, with, with that idea, um, you don't see a backlash then against a textile industry, say, for example, in India. I, I am firmly, I'm a believer of that. I mean, I see there is no backlash on, uh, on particularly in textile. Good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Next time I'll be there in New York and we can, we can put some of your towels to the test. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for Thank joining you very us. much, Richard. Thank we'll you. have a profitable moment. We'll have a profitable moment after the break. It's fresh business. Good evening.